last weekend I was trying to figure out what to watch on Netflix and then I came across a movie I had been wanting to watch for a very long time, Stand By Me, and I loved it. I can make a normal movie review where I tell you the plot, the people that made it and why it's such a good movie, but I won't. In today's video I will talk about why I think that Stand By Me is one of the most universal movies ever made. What I mean by a universal movie is that regardless of where you were born or your background or you know your nationality or anything like that, you can really connect with the movie and what it's trying to tell you. It could just be attributed to quote unquote movie magic, but I want to go deeper than that and I'd like to start by saying that Stand By Me was not made for me. I wasn't born in the 50s, I'm not American, and I only ever had like two friends that I would hang out with when I was a kid. I also grew up in a city where there were not many places to go out on adventures, but still, it felt like this movie was just made for me, exactly the way that millions of other people that watched it before me felt. And I just couldn't help but wonder, how did this happen? Like I mentioned before, my childhood was extremely different from what we see in the movie, but when you look at its score, you start to realize why this movie feels so universal. And I think that one of the reasons is because we can see ourselves in at least one of the main characters. It doesn't matter if you see a little bit of yourself as Gordy, Chris, Teddy or Vern, or in all of them for that matter. They all have different personalities and they can remind you of how you or your friends used to be. And even though I said that I only had like two friends growing up, I had a lot of other classmates that I was reminded of when I watched this movie. Stephen King really nailed the depiction of these characters that feel so familiar to us. And without the talent of the young actors in this movie, this wouldn't have worked out. The movie ends with the line, I never had any friends later on like the ones I had when I was 12. Jesus, does anyone? And it can't be any more true. While you can definitely create friendships that can last a lifetime when you get older, there is just something pure and selfless about your childhood friends. When you're 12 years old, you don't care about being popular or about what other kids will say if they find out that you're a bit of a geek. And when you're 12 years old, you just like your friends the way they are, that's it, there's nothing else. Growing up I never went on hikes and had any crazy adventures like the one in Stand By Me, but I did have days that felt just as exciting and adventurous as that. For me it was spending most of the summer at my best friend's house. Every day felt like the beginning of a new adventure and like the possibilities were endless, even though most of the time we just watch movies and make short films inside. Like I said before, the city where I grew up couldn't be any more different from the town where the movie is set, but it still reminded me of my hometown somehow. Stand By Me really made me think of going to the corner store to buy some snacks with my friends, and the times that we went to the park until it got dark, and of all the other times when we had to run away from dogs. Don't ask me why, there's just lots of scary stray dogs in Mexico. And in this part I'd like to include all the side characters from the movie because even though we don't spend more than maybe just one or two scenes with most of them, the script makes an excellent job at depicting them and including some dialogue to give us just enough of a glimpse into their lives. And that's all we really need to know so that we can understand these characters and that we can be reminded of people that we didn't really know when we were growing up but that we knew of. Another aspect that I would like to praise is the cinematography. It is as straightforward as it gets, but that doesn't really mean that it doesn't work for the movie. By not adding any crazy color grading or camera movements, the movie continues to sort of step away and let us forget about the fact that we are watching a movie, and instead focus on the story and the characters. It also really helps that the movie takes place in a really beautiful place outdoors for most of the runtime. Growing up is scary, and even though this topic doesn't come along until near the ending of the movie, it's one of the most important ones. This movie is not afraid of telling you that sometimes when you grow up, it means that you will lose some friends. 
but that isn't a bad thing. It is something that happens to everyone and it is a part of life. But also growing up and not seeing your old friends for a long time does not mean that you stop caring about them. I am sure that if there had been another scene where the characters unite in this movie, it would have been like time hadn't passed. And this is rare, but it does happen. It happened to me when my best friend Marco came back from living in the United States for a year. The moment when we saw each other again for the first time, it just felt like any other moment. There was no big hug or anything, and we pretty much just left because we were sort of expecting to see a big change in ourselves, but there was none. And yeah, it felt like no time had passed since last time we saw each other. Stand By Me is an excellent film that, besides being very well done in a technical way, succeeds mostly because it feels so timeless. Which is weird because it's a coming of age movie set in America in the 50s. But at its core, Stand By Me is a movie about childhood, friendships, and growing up. And we all experience all of these things in one way or another. This is why when I finished watching the movie for the first time almost a week ago, it just felt like it was made for me. And Stand By Me is a movie that everyone must see and actually probably everyone or almost everyone has already watched it since it's a classic. It is a very human movie and if you haven't watched it already, please go and do it. I couldn't recommend it to you enough. So if you watch this whole video, thank you so much and maybe send a message to one of your childhood friends. Who knows, maybe it'll feel like no time passed since last time you saw each other.